Good morning. Welcome to our celebration of Tuesday of the fifth week of Easter. Uh, in the background of our celebration today, we're remembering saints like Nereus and Achilles, as well as St. Pancras. If they are your particular patron saints, I invite you to honor them today. And as we come together, we continue to celebrate Easter. Sing praise to our God, all you who fear God, both small and great. For now salvation and strength have come, the power of his Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate these mysteries, let us call to mind our constant need for God's mercy in our lives. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, you restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ. Grant your people constancy in faith and hope that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and they dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. On the following day, he left with Barnabas for Durba. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and they exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, it is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed presbyters for them in each church and with prayer and fasting commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through to Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Italia, and from there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work that they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. Then they spent no little time with the disciples. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Alleluia. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Alleluia. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Alleluia. 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 Christ had to suffer and to rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you, Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you. For the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The readings today give us hope in the midst of a world that is rather topsy-turvy. We want to remember that there has never been a time when someone who has proclaimed the gospel or lived the faith didn't encounter some type of persecution. Now, sometimes the persecutions have been more organized, Sometimes they've been more politically motivated. Sometimes they've just been been uh, overcome by power and people that want to be in power and people that, that just don't like someone that says the truth to them. So when we see Paul in our reading today, and, and we recall that Paul did not have that easy a life. I, I mean, Paul is one of the great stories of someone who gets it wrong and then gets it right. Paul is the great story of the conversion to Christ because when we first meet Paul, when he is Saul, he is persecuting this new way. He doesn't get it at all. And he kills people. And then there's the famous Damascus story, and he's converted, and he doesn't know what he's converted to. He knows he's had this encounter with Christ, and it begins to change his life, and it's only when Ananias and Barnabas and the disciples help him that he really understands the full import of what he has experienced, experienced Christ. And from that point on, it doesn't get easier because to tell people who Christ is when they know that you've been persecuting people like them who believe, not easy. 
when you go and tell the story in countries and places where people have no background in this, it's hard for them to believe. And then when people who have uh, no belief in what you believe but believe what you used to believe come and tell people you can't believe him, it gets complicated, which should give us heart because if anything is true in our world today, it's complicated. But it's complicated ultimately by the fact that there are people that want to get their way. And there's nothing particularly wrong with people wanting to get their way if their way is based in something solid, if it's based in truth, if it's based in understanding, if, it, if it's based in the values of the community, and it looks like it's consistent. It looks like it's a way forward. So when Jesus comes and says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you, he is trying to tell us that in the midst of persecutions, in the midst of troubled times, in the midst of craziness and stuff that's going on, our hearts must seek peace. And they have to seek the same peace that Jesus seeks, and that's the idea of oneness with the Father. All the great religions of the world have the same base. It's about loving and caring for one another. What co-ops everything is when power gets in the way and supplants love. Love must take us back to knowing what the right thing is to do and doing it because we're choosing to do it because that's what we believe in, is the power, is the faith, is the love. So faith, hope, and love really abide. And that is what gives us our peacefulness. That is what gives us our power in the midst of persecution, in the midst of disagreement. Because the greatest thing, love, gives us that peace and give, gives us the confidence that like Christ, we are one with God. So let us gather our prayers and present them to this God who loves us. We pray for the church that in these difficult times, the message of Christ and the presence of Christ may be known more and more. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for a world that is trying to figure out ways forward, trying to figure out ways to bring health to people, ways to give people stability in their homes, in their jobs, and in all ways. Let us pray that we will know the best ways forward for all our people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those in the medical family, all those who are working for cures and solutions, and all those who are working directly with patients and helping them for the patients themselves, for their caregivers, the nurses, for all the technicians, for all of those in our own families who are caring for those who are sick, for all of them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Maybe there are particular people you're thinking about today. I know I have my friend Susan in uh, Michigan who died last week uh, for her. And for those names that you may want to raise up right now, or if you're looking at someone that you especially want to pray for, I invite you to raise up those names, those intentions uh, in your room or in the silence of your heart. For all of them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And in a special way today, our particular intention of the Mass is for Joseph Ryan and all who have died. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and loving God, you know us through and through. 
you desire to place your peace in our hearts, accept our prayers as we offer them to you, and accept our confidence through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer, fruit of earth, work of human hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. The mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Brothers and sisters, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our Father. good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, receive these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this Easter time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. O God, you are indeed holy and to be glorified, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son and confirm us in the bond of communion, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, with all other bishops, priests, deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to service of the Gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your Kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with Saints Nereus and Achilles and Pancras, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God Father, so we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom and the, the power and, and the glory, glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's share in some special way a sign of peace with each other or a pledge to reach out in peace to someone else along this day. So peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Let us pray. O Lord, look with kindness upon your people and grant that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to share the good news by your life. Thanks, Thanks. be to God.